yeah, they've got some great players, um, but you just look at it as a challenge and, um, you know, if you don't put yourself against the best in the world, then there's no point in, you know, playing the sport really, I think. So, if you've got that chance, take it with both hands and, and do your best. No, we've got nothing to lose at all. We're, we're always going to be the underdogs in every all of these three games that we've played. Um, and hopefully we get a big Welsh crowd there to, to cheer us on and give us some good support. I think um, we're, we're slowly building in each game that we've played, from England, New Zealand, obviously, Australia next. So I think we can go a, a step better again. I think we've been improving, uh, not only week on week, but day on day. And, you know, the players are, are starting to realise what, what playing at this level entails. And, you know, they're, they're embracing it. You know, we, we know, obviously, the side of the task ahead of us playing probably the best team in the world in Australia and, and arguably on, on very good form as well after the performance last week. Uh, we've just got to make sure that we keep improving on the, the areas that we've worked on and try and be a little bit better than they were in the last game and, and as we said probably from the start of the campaign that the results are reasonably irrelevant to us. It, it, it's the you know the improvements we make as a group and you know the, the guys are starting to make them improvements slowly so you know hopefully at the end of this campaign we'll walk away and I say we're a little bit better for the experience and, and roll on 2012 and hopefully a tour and rolling into the World Cup of 2013. Yeah, I, th I think by playing against the, the three uh, top teams in the world is going to hold us in really good stead. Um, we've challenged ourselves in the first two games and even though we haven't won, um, I think we've given a, a fairly decent account of ourselves and there's a lot of room for improvement, but we've got two years to work on that for, until the World Cup. We've got quite a young squad. Um, so all the young players will take something out of playing these big teams now and in a couple of years they're going to be fantastic players and hopefully they might be some of the best players in the world. So, um, you know, you've just got to take what you can out of it and, and build for the next couple of years ready for the World Cup. You know, there's a, there's a lot of development going on in the game in Wales. I mean, when I first came over to Wales, I remember we were teaching rugby union players how to play the ball. And so as a, as a nation, as a rugby league nation, we've come a long way from, from that. And um, some of the young kids that are in the squad now are going to go on to bigger and better things in the future. The last four weeks has been outstanding, so can't ask for a better bunch of blokes.